Yo 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 what up motherfuckers. Charles back in the house and welcome back to Charles Plays Hexen. Your British overlord apologizes for the delay, I had to use the toilet. I suppose you're wondering where the bloody fuck the videos have been. Tom recently had to move, and now that he's settled, he can do the editing work again. Because I'm not going to do that shit myself, so a holiday was in order. I have returned, and it is now time to resume chapter 2 of Hexen. Did you fuckers miss me? You better have. Your British overlord demands it. Lol John Romero and shit. It is good to see that Castle Darknear has not burned down, fallen over, and sunk into the swamp in our absence. But I can say that we missed a couple of items in our previous expedition here. We had to leave last time, because no progress could be made, but we have the horn key now motherfuckers. So let's get some progress up in this bitch. For those who remember, the horn key door was located up this small flight of stairs on the other side of a fireplace in the dining hall. And here it is. Upon closer inspection you may notice there is no actual lock on the fucking door at all, but that shit is not enough to stop a British overlord in his colonizing tracks. And we have Etins. That sure feels like progression. Well whatever, a fidelity is a fidelity. Beautiful. Stay down square, it suits you. Feels like we're back in the wasteland with this grey craggy scenery, but this section here is only small. There is a switch to solve one sixth of the puzzle here that we must hit. Get your eyes checked you troll face cunts. Prime British beef down here don't you know? Those two brown chaos serpents are guarding the puzzle switch in question, and I see the dumb bastards have managed to go salt mode on each other. No skin off my nose whatsoever, especially since brown chaos serpents can do a fuckload of damage, if you get careless. A small army of Etins and one centaur are across the way, and cannot reach us. Free kills are one of my favorite kind of kills. Fleshes for the wind boys and girls. Now that everything over there has been reduced to a marvelous shade of red paste, let's go right ahead, and hit the switch, to solve one sixth of the puzzle on the shadow wood. The portal across the gap will take us back to the wasteland, but before we head in that direction, I can recover my fleshes in this little area, and I do so hate to leave shit like that behind. We won't be back here, so it's now, or never motherfuckers. I'd love to get my flesh eye count back to 25, but I don't believe that's possible. No matter, I'll just take what I can get my grubby mitts on, and 23 is as solid a number as any. That's it for this area, but we can still squeeze some use out of the horn key in an area we have not yet been to. We are moving along nicely. Make sure you actually did hit the switch here, because if you forget, you will be forced to return here, one of the worst of all first world problems. We find ourselves back in the wastelands with bugger all to do here, except a fidelity, that um shit a frit who thinks he's hot shit fighting the frit that cannot fight back. This will please me. Why don't you test your metal against a real opponent you fucking poof to cunt? Anyway, like I said there is naught we can do out here, but we will swipe that combined mana behind the portal, because my blue mana is looking sorry for itself. Back to the shadow wood. Why that portal puts us in the shadow wood is anybody's guess. Some serious portal chicanery going on here. My mana is still a bit of a tragedy, but instead of burning one of my creators of might, I will simply take the remaining mana sitting right here. There are a few more bits of mana scattered about the shadow wood, but we should be fine with over 100 of each color. It is time for some new territory. Welcome to the hypo style. The hypo style is a wonderful happy place with bubbles and ponies and free candy, but we are not going to enter just yet because there is some great drink I forgot to pick up. In addition, there is also a platinum helm sitting on the cliff face which I am going to nick. Might as well take this green mana as well. I will collect the combined mana in a few moments, but first take a look at that Afrit. That Afrit is actually in front of the portal to chapter 2's secret level, which will remain inaccessible for some time. And that's enough of that mini collected thun. It is now time for us to brave the hypo style, I simply cannot say no to great drank. Give me that delicious purple stuff. Nothing in the two pots. What a blatant ripoff. But the great drank is nice of course. So what do we have guarding the hypo style entrance? Just a handful of fodder enemies. Kind of a letdown really. Stop. Hammer time. It had to be said, and someone had to say it. Good to see that the hammer hasn't trusted or lost its punch. It was a kick-ass weapon a month ago, and it's a kick-ass weapon now. 
check out the stickheads stuck on that platform. The hammer finds new ways to make me never want to part with it. As for you, Mr. Redhin, enjoy parting with your organ. Destroy! Still stuck up there, are you? Well, I am a benevolent soul, so allow me to lend you a hand. And this is the thanks I get for granting you freedom. How very difficult. Being a British overlord sure is hard work, when you have ungrateful motherfuckers like that guy pulling all manner of bullshit just like that. It's a hard life, but someone's got to do it. But enough fucking around out here with the plebs. The entrance of the hypo style is right here. I want you to get a dictionary and look up the words free and kill. You son of an at reaction read bitch. How dare you notice me? Well what the fuck ever, you died and that was the result I was going for in the first place, so sucked in scrub. What a bunch of attentive shitheads we have here. Well, since they are all lined up nicely, 10 pin bowling is a go. Worked well but I can see the serpent survived. And now for the other serpent. Eat bolt, motherfucker. Going to nip back outside for the blue mana, and to fuck with the music, just to irritate the shit out of Tom for editing. Alright, hard progression time. Our progression point is here, you can open this portal ahead deeper into the hypo style. But be cautious here, because there are quite a few enemies ahead. And you cannot jump back up once you drop. Taking the enemies out with fleshes is a good idea. Oh, another serpent. I will take this one out with fleshes as well, and then I will drop down to the lower level. With any luck I have already killed the really nasty stuff. I see a couple of leftover refrits, I dare say I can handle this. Get the fuck over here and take your medicine, you bunch of cockwits. Oh my god, fuck this a frit. There we fucking go, and son of a bitch, he wasn't even the last of the lot. God damn it's infested as shit in here. How many of you motherfuckers are there? Tremble before me. One less after that. Any more of you flaming bricks around? This is getting to be rather stupid. Stop dicking around up a square. Get your flaming ass down here so I can put a bolt in it. Dragon skin braces for the go. Really going to want to save as many of these as I can for later. Eat shit you little prick. Right, time to plunder and pillage the fuck out of this room. I see a few bits of great rank scattered around the place, and I don't mind if I do. The serpents bombarding me from up there are really going to give me the shits, but I will deal with them in a few moments time. One last great rank up here up for grabs. Now let me position myself where the serpents cannot touch me, since I wish to explain this room, as it's kind of important. There is a locked door with three panels on each side, six panels in total. Those of you who can put two and two together have already figured out that this door will open once we hit all six of the puzzles which is for the chapter, granting us access to the inner hypo style. So far we have only hit two of them, so we have an additional four switches to find. You can check your progress by returning here. If a panel is not lit then you have not found the appropriate switch for the fucker. Now then, you may notice we have looped our way around, and are back at the 10 pin bowling alley. Things are a whole lot more lively here all of a sudden, as you can see. The walls have gone apeshit, and there is a staircase at the far end. That was not there before. If you are playing as the cleric, this should be your first destination upon starting chapter 2. Since his third weapon, the Firestorm, is located here. But we are playing fighter, the most manliest of classes. So the Firestorm is not for us. That does not mean we get dicked, oh no. We are awarded with a bunch of combined mana and great drank for reaching this location, and this British overlord is pleased by this turn of events. The firestorm for the cleric would be placed right here in this little hole. We need to hit the switch down there anyway, so coming here without needing items is still not a waste of time. Feel free to leave items here for later, you can wings of wrath your way back through the window. Now then, the bowling alley has once again shifted, and you can see a staircase leading down right near our current position. But I'm not going anywhere yet. I'm enjoying watching this set in trying to figure out what the fuck to do while he gets incinerated by the walls. Okay, show's over. Let's drop down and fuck up the scent door. I didn't realize there were two of the bricks. 
Let's head down here, but be aware that the passage is rigged to shut behind you, locking you in. This next area is chock full of a fritz, but you can funnel the bastards up this narrow corridor to make door life a hell of a lot easier. You can also lob fleshes down there to kill the serpent, since the fat motherfucker can't squeeze into the tunnel. Now that the serpent has been dispatched, let's get to work on the army of a fritz. I see that I'm once again about to gain a level. Sadly my health will remain capped at 150 due to the bug, but the incoming perk is awesome, and I've been waiting all damn game for it. Boost of flesh aid damage? Thank you very very much Sergeant Mark for you magnificent bastard. You fail to amuse me. I know what you're thinking. But Charles, you have 160 health right now. You were wrong about the bug. Shut the goddamn hell up you ignoramus. That extra 10 health is only temporary. You will see it for yourself. Anyway, do not get greedy here. I know there is a Mr. Kernan shit, but if you rush into this room you're flat out asking for trouble, as there are all lethal drops everywhere in here. That Afrit over there seems happy enough to sleep where he is. I say we go give the fucker a nasty wake up call. Wake up. Time to die. Um, well, that works too I suppose. Alright, time for us to work our way around this precarious room, gathering the Mysticon and some great drink as we go. Be very careful as you do this, because as I said there are drops everywhere that you absolutely will not survive. Be doubly careful, because the ceiling is too low at some points for you to even jump properly. Getting to the Mystic Urn is actually rather simple. It's getting the last few bottles of grape drink and getting back from there that is the biggest hassle. This one in particular is a cunt. You cannot jump, you have to run and pray that your momentum does not send you careening over the edge to your doom. This is all rather tense is it not? Sorry, wrong way. God damn, I'm too old for this shit. I'm disoriented as fuck right now. Bear with me. Damn it, fuck shit, this is a dead end. I came the wrong way again. Thank goodness. I was getting ready to stop the game and look up an assy map for that room. I see your glow, Mr. Refrit, and I have something for you. Come here, you flaming fucker. Don't waste my time. Direct your eyes to my hit points, everybody. You see, it's bugged and cannot go higher than 150. Such a shame that we will only be at three quarters of our health potential by the end of this let's play. Give me that purple stuff. That funny looking wall in front of us is an elevator that will return us to the other hypo style proper, but we have a portal to take. We will use this elevator later. This portal will lead to a new area, the Caves of Surst. So what on earth are we waiting for? In we go motherfuckers. And welcome to the Caves of Surst. Land yet to be colonized? Head up, the Caves of Surst is not a friendly place. In addition to being dark as shit, the place is infested with brown serpents, and will prove a giant pain in the ass due to the lack of strafing room. We will be making a second trip here. For now, our goal is to locate the cave key. We have not even entered the actual caves, and already the brown serpents have come out to play. Nasty critters. At least I have weapons that are more than adept at dealing with the troll looking shit kickers. Can you imagine trying to kill these wankers with only the axe and shield? Shit would be almost impossible. I can see one obscured by the wall over there. Let's give him some fleshes and note the results for science. You can recover several fleshes right here. We have cleared the brown serpents out of the starting area. This portal will return you underneath the Ara Hypo style, but we came here to brave the caves, and that's exactly what we are going to do motherfuckers. Hope you aren't afraid of the dark. Also hope you aren't afraid of bats. God damn bats. Now we are in the caves of Sus proper, and the welcoming committee has come to greet us. Etins are of course around. It wouldn't be a Hexen level without the lovable bastards, would it? Beautiful. Feel free to survey your surroundings in this initial cave. You may notice you have three options, rather, three paths you can take. The only one that interests us is the one on the left. 
you will know it's the correct one, if you can see the scars you enter through a crack on the ceiling. Mind the brown serpent on your right as you enter. That brown serpent was actually guarding where we need to go. Collect the crystal vials, if you require them, and then look around the small room. There is a hole in the floor, that blends in rather well with the surroundings. Down we go motherfuckers. At the bottom, is some mana and the mesh armor. Five armor points for us, not too shabby. Stepping onto the stream of water will open a few sections of cave, including one that leads directly to our goal, the cave key. This will please me. The cave key is in the center of a room surrounded by brown serpents, so just getting in there can be one hell of a bitch. Thank goodness they provide you with mana right beforehand just in case. You cannot rely on your fleshes here, because the stairs will do their utmost to fuck with you, bouncing your fleshes right back down to you to explode and make you salty. Fall back onto your crossbow and your hammer second array, if you have it. And that's the hard part out of the way. Come here you. Tremble before me. This room is now cleared out, and the cave key is up for grabs. Feel free to look around, this room is pretty much the hub for the caves of Sus. Here is the cave key, now that we have it, we can completely wrap up business in both Dark Mirror and the Wastelands. We could do all of the caves of Sus right now, if we were so inclined, but we are not. I will return here in the next episode, to put the swamp key to further use. The horn key, on the other hand, can see some use right after I clear this pack of shit stains out of the cave. These caves are property of the British Empire now, and you fuckers are trespassing. Bow before the mighty Sir Charles Playworth, and his Warhammer motherfuckers. I appreciate the torch lasting, as long as that has. If not for it, this room would be shrouded in darkness, and that of it would have been about the only thing possible to make out. Thanks to the torch I can see all the mana and what not. And I can also clearly see the side tunnel with the horn key door. So let's rip the Ettins up, and put the horn key to good use. Nice timing Mr. Torch, I was just talking about you. A few Ettins are skulking about in this now dark room, and one of the six puzzle switches is also located within these walls. Let's snatch the combined mana and hit the switch. Three puzzle switches down, three to go. We will hunt down all three in the next episode, paving the way for us to enter the inner hypo style and fuck up the boss, that sits in wait for us. This portal will take us back to the wastelands, and we will kick off there in the next episode. This has been Charles Plays Hexen Motherfuckers, thanks for watching as always. Good to see you lot again.